don't want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. The honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Double Shalom taught the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. Okay, this news article that I have before you, okay, it comes from uh, MSNBC News. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, NBC News, all right. And the title of the article says, NATO gathering descends into agrimony as Trump criticizes allies. Let's take a look at this word, agrimony. All right, the definition of agrimony means bitterness or ill feeling. Okay. Now, the article talks about Trump storming out or, uh, counseling meetings he's bitter and these other nations are bitter and angry towards him okay it says anger and bitterness harsh or biting sharpness especially of words manner or feelings the dispute continue and increase agrimony okay you get the picture um you know pretty much being um and in, in, um having ill feeling towards someone bitterness okay so NATO gathering descends into agrimony, bitterness, okay, as Trump criticizes allies. The day got off to a bumpy start with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and NATO Security General Jens Stoltenberg waiting 15 minutes for a photo with Trump, okay? <laughs> And Trump is just a, he's a big asshole, man. You know, take a look at these, these world leaders, man, because they will come to not, man, very soon. Okay. It says parties always have the potential for messy drama and NATO's 70th birthday gathering has been no exception. After a agrimonious two days in the United Kingdom, President Donald Trump tweeted Wednesday, that he was canceling his press conference that was set to cap off the event. It comes after Trump lashed out at Canadian Prime Minister Justin uh, Trudeau, calling him two-faced after an open mic caught him and others making what may have been interpreted as references to Trump. <laughs> it says, a day earlier, Trump condemned the very, very nasty remarks made about NATO by French President Emmanuel Macron. Okay. The video that rocked this NATO gathering was captured Tuesday evening at a Buckingham Place reception hosted by Queen Elizabeth II. The footage, which quickly went viral on social media, shows several world leaders, including Macron, Trudeau, and President Minister Prime Prime Minister Boris Johnson, having an informal chat. It says NATO heads appear to joke about fellow leader after Trump events. It says the content of the conversation is not clear and it is not known whom they are talking about, but Trudeau was overheard saying he was late because he takes a 40 minute press conference off the top. <laughs> See, they, they, they're talking shit about Trump, man. Okay. It says Trudeau later says, I just watched his team's jaw drop to the floor again without explicitly saying whom they were discussing. When asked what he thought of the video, Trump said Trudeau was likely upset that he publicly noted Canada was not meeting NATO's military spending goal. See, and that comes down to the point. These these uh these allies are starting to be frustrated and, and, and ill mannered toward Trump's request, you know? It reads on and says, I called him out on the fact he is not paying 2% and I guess he's not ha not very happy about it. Trump said, adding that he thinks Trudeau is a nice guy despite calling him two-faced moments earlier. All right. These, these countries are, sh are showing that they're starting to have ill feelings towards each other, man. You know, especially Trump. He's a tyrant, man. Okay. So we're going to bring out some scriptures. We're going to jump back to the article. See, 
it goes to show the times we're in, man. All right, all this is gonna lead towards uh, World War Three, man. You know, the book of Saint Matthew, chapter twelve, verse twenty-six. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Because what NATO represents, which means North Atlantic Treaty Organization, is a group of allies who are really supposed to be on the same page. Okay, but you're starting to see that as this definition, acrimony, is is used as a uh, headline. You know, you're starting to see that these these nations are having bitterness or ill feelings towards one another. You know, mainly America. Okay, what does America do? Criticize everybody else on their military spending. You know, while they go around, you know, uh, just taking over land. Putting, implementing their um, democracy, you know, doing what they want to do, okay, but telling everybody else what they need to be doing, you know. So clearly they're not on the same page, but as the scriptures say, St. Matthew 12 and 26, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? And that's what we're seeing right before our eyes, that, you know, these devils are, are starting to, uh, to, to be divided, you know. Okay, it says, um, let's see, where did I leave off at? All right, it says, when asked what he thought of the video, Trump said Trudeau was likely upset that he'd publicly noted Canada was not meeting NATO's military spending goals. Uh, I called him out on the fact that he's not paying 2%, and I guess he's not very happy about it. Trump said, adding that he thinks Trudeau is a nice guy, despite calling him two-faced moments earlier. See, these guys are starting to be messy in front of the media, man, in front of the world. Asked whether he and other leaders were making fun of Trump, jo Johnson told a news brief briefing later Wednesday, it was absolute nonsense, and I don't know where that comes from. Macron's office declined to comment, and Canadian office officials were not immediately available for response. Okay, um... I want to hit a point here in the article if I can find it. Um, Trudeau himself downplayed but did not retreat from his initial comment last night. I made a reference to the fact that I was, I'm not going to read that part, but there's, there's a, uh, the particulars in here that I want to bring out. Bear with me. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, it says. Uh, OK, Trump also held an unscheduled meeting with Turkish President uh, Recep uh, Tayyip Erdogan, who recently purchased a Russian missile defense system rather than the U.S., rather than American alternative. All right. So these these other these allies are starting to do business with with what is deemed America's main enemy, Russia buying missiles from Russia rather than the U.S. It says Erdogan was also recently criticized by Macron who condemned Turkey's crazy offensive uh, into north northern Syria after U.S. troops pulled back. Macron also said that NATO was brain dead and suggested the alliance should focus its attention away from Russia. See, they're, they're all uh, uh, they're on different pages. They're not on the same page, man. And that's beautiful. It goes to show the times we're in, man. Okay. Let me bring out this preset right here. It says Proverbs um, 16 and 18. All right. Bear with me. Okay. It says pride goeth before destruction and the haughty spirit before a fall. So you're seeing that the pride of, uh, of, of these Edomites, man. Okay, mainly Trump, who's supposed to represent, you know, uh, America and this whole uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization taking 40 minutes for a press conference, having people wait a long time for a photo op. These are all so-called, you know, world leaders or basically world leaders. Okay, who are all prideful, but the main one is Trump. Okay, and, we're, and, and you're starting to see that they have an ill feeling towards this man. Okay, which ultimately is going to result in those 200 million ICBM missiles that's being shot off, including the, the allies 
of of uh, NATO and EU. Okay, because scriptures say the beast shall hate the whore. Okay, and that's the Lord putting that spirit, that war spirit on these on these nations, man, to have you know animosity towards one another, man. Okay, the Book of Proverbs chapter twenty one, verse one it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. You know, the kings represent these leaders, man. Okay. The Lord is controlling the heart. The word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. It says the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, turn, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Scriptures say the man, a man's goings is, is of the Lord. How then does a man understand his own way? So the Lord is stirring up, you know, uh, a mossy division amongst these nations, you know, and having Trump storm out, just building up the, the, the tension between one another, which would ultimately result in that um, the, the war, man, that's coming soon. OK, the book of Revelation, chapter 11, you know, um, verse 14. Okay, it says the second woe is past and be hurt and behold so like it, revelation 11 to 14 the second woe is past all right that second woe represents world war ii all right that's past that's old news okay it says and behold meaning look to see the third woe cometh quickly that third woe represents world war three it's coming quickly you know and these these uh you know these nations they, they all have you know, um, military might, they all have, uh, missiles. Okay. With nuclear warheads, they all have tested it. Okay. I mean, they all, they, they all ready for, for, for something to pop off, man. You know, but this is the, this is the time that we're in, man. You know, as uh Habakkuk two and three, let me get that. It says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. That vision represents prophecies. Okay, it's, it's set for an appointed time. We're in the time of World War, World War III. Okay. How do we know? Because the scriptures speak of these times. And when you watch the news and you link it up to the, the prophecies, you clearly know the appointed time that we're in. We're in we're at the end of E. All right. Uh, E's rulership, man. Okay, where it's going to be brought down from this World War Three and uh, Lord Yahawashai redeeming the elect. Okay, 200 million ICBM missiles, the latest land desolate and the everlasting kingdom ruled in righteousness, starting with Lord Yahawashai. Okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be on the face of this earth, man. Okay, so this is the point in time that we're in. It says, but at the end it shall speak. Okay, and not lie, meaning the prophecies are going to be clearly speaking. When the scriptures say the beast shall hate the whore, that beast represents EU and NATO. Okay. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, these allies are starting to hate the whore. Who's the whore? America. Okay. America has been slutted out, you know. America is 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 uh going around just being a tyrant, man. And these other nations are starting to hate it, you know, are starting to have amosity towards America. <clears throat> And America's not going to back down because, you know, the, the pride of this place, man. You know, pride followed before destruction, man. You know, though it tarry, wait for it because it, sh it will surely come. It will not tarry. And we're seeing it before our eyes. Okay, here's the patient and faith of the saints, man. You know, we're seeing it before our eyes that we're in some beautiful times, man. Okay, I'm going to bring out Isaiah 13 and 9. It says, uh, behold, the third, Salakia, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. See, our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, who are people ignorantly called Jesus. You know, they, our people don't, majority of our people don't know how angry and pissed off our Lord is coming, man, which we can only imagine the ones you know, in the faith, <clears throat> but he's coming angry and pissed off. But before he comes, this World War Three is going to be heavy, man. 
where the Lord is going to gather these nations up in the valley of Yahweh Shapat. And, and even around that time, you're going to have uh, famine and race riots going on. You know, martial law is going to be implemented. You know, people are going to be getting killed left and right, man. Okay, but our Lord and Savior is coming cruel with uh, both with wrath and fierce anger. Okay, he's coming pissed off. He's looking for vengeance. Okay, to lay the land desolate. What land is that? The land of America. Because when you read uh, Revelation, the scriptures talk about the beast shall hate the whore. Um, it talks about her being found naked and desolate. Okay, and it's going to be burnt up. That land is America, man. That's the whore that's going to be laid desolate, man. The land of America. No inhabitants, man, except for desert creatures. It says, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay? So, the only ones that are going to survive um, from the destruction, the nuclear uh, destruction of America, <clears throat> which will be laid desolate, is the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? So, with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.